Hello viewers, welcome to the lecture of Economics Today group. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the topic stolper samuelson Theorem of International Trade. The hector olin Theorem of International Trade is a widely accepted theorem overall. According to hector olin Theorem, when a country follows a free trade, it will grow faster and faster. And the world is, the trade is free, the world trade is free, and there is no restrictions overboard. But F.W. Stolper and Paul A. Sam Wilson have analyzed uh, that uh, in the modern theory, there are various imperfections in the trade. In the modern world, the trade is mostly restricted, not free and fair. It is because many countries of the world are imposing tariffs, quotas, etc. in order to restrict the imports. It is commonly quoted as import restriction and they promoting exports, so-called export promotion. So, it is unlike that the, the world trade is not at all free, but it's unfair. So, the hexer all in theorem cannot be analyzed in such a situation. So, Stolper and Sam Wilson analyze the effect of a tariff, of an import tariff on the international trade. And they have analyzed that if an import tariff is imposed, the trade or the chains of trade will shift in order to the favor of the uh, scarce factor rather than the abundant factor. We all know that uh, the tariff is a type of protection. They are protecting the home industry in order to withstand the competition from abroad. So, in order to withstand the competition from abroad, they impose a tariff or in other words, they protect the home industry from the competition. So they impose tariffs or choosing subsidies or uh, subsidies on exports, etc. There are various forms of protection to the home economy. So when protecting, uh, when the returns to abundant factor will re will be reduced and returns and other uh, on the other words the returns to the scarce factor will be increased they states the example of the america in united states of america the steel industry is highly capital intensive and the cloth industry is highly labor intensive. So, as we all know, the United States is popularly capital abundant country and labor scarce country. So, they, according to Hexer Allen theorem, uh, the United States should produce the abundant uh, the product which uses the abundant factor as input that is steel as uh, is capital intensive as capital is abundant the capital intensive steel will be produced by uh, the United States but but they cannot produce uh, the cloth which is labor intensive uh, because the labor is a scarce factor in United States of America 
So, do you have a it? But, Stopper and Sam Wilson said that United States of America, uh, suppose that, uh, if United States of America imposes a tariff, a tariff on its imports of clothes, 